जयंती का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विथ ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. On 26th October 1947, Jammu and Kashmir acceded to the Union of India after Maharaja Hari Singh signed the instrument of accession which was accepted by India's last Governor General Lord Mountbatten on 27th October. Early in the morning on 27th October, the Indian Army's 1st Sikh Battalion was airdropped in Srinagar where they resisted the tribal invasion supported by Pakistan. As the tribal invaders captured Uri and Baramulla with minimal resistance from the Maharaja's forces the fall of Srinagar looked imminent on 24th October Maharaja Hari Singh appealed to India for military assistance to stop the aggression the request was considered on 25th October 1947 in a meeting of India's defense committee headed by Lord Mountbatten The committee comprised Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, Baldev Singh, Gopalaswami Iyengar and the British commanders in chief of the army, the air force and the navy. The committee concluded that the most immediate necessity was to rush arms and ammunition already requested by the Kashmir government. The defense committee sent VP Menon, secretary of the Ministry of the States, to Srinagar to make an on-the-spot study the same day. He returned to New Delhi the next day with his impressions and suggested sending troops to Kashmir, pointing out the supreme necessity to save Kashmir from raiders. Menon was then flown to Jammu to advise the Maharaja about the government's view and that's when the Maharaja finally signed the instrument of accession on 26th October the day is celebrated as accession day 26th of October is the birth anniversary of the legendary freedom fighter and eminent journalist Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi He was born on the 26th of October 1890 at Attar Suya in Prayagraj district of Uttar Pradesh. After finishing school, Vidyarthi enrolled at Kaist Patshala College but was unable to graduate since he had to support his family of humble means. He went on to become a clerk but his real passion lay in journalism. Later on he began writing for Karma Yogi the publication founded by Pandit Sundarlal a leader of the revolutionary Ghadar movement at the age of 23 Vidyarthi however quit the publication and moved to Kanpur where he started his own Hindi weekly Pratap in 1920 The same year he was sentenced to 2 years rigorous imprisonment for championing the cause of peasants of Raibareli. He was released in 1922 but was immediately sent to jail again for allegedly delivering a seditious speech at Fatehgarh. He wrote extensively not only about the freedom struggle but also about social inequality in the society. Vidyarthi also used journalism to develop critical thinking among the masses. He was a champion of communal harmony and played a leading role in forming an organization called Hindustani Biradari. It organized programs on communal harmony and joint celebrations of various festivals. Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi was a member of the Indian National Congress and an ardent follower of Mahatma Gandhi. Over time, he became an influential leader during the non-cooperation movement. He took a leading role in the Home Rule movement of 1917-18 and led the first strike of textile workers in Kanpur. Immediately after the execution of Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Rajguru, a riot broke out in Kanpur. Called the Lion of Kanpur, Vidyarthi took upon himself to calm communal passion running high and stop rioting. Unfortunately, he was killed in the riots on 25th March 1931, two days after the hanging of the three revolutionaries. Paying tribute to Vidyarthi, President Ramnath Kovind said he sacrificed his life to douse the flames of hatred during communal violence. In pursuance of his dream of a strong and united India, 
he sacrificed his life for peace and non-violence like a true disciple of Mahatma Gandhi. Mourning the loss of Vidyarthi, who was merely 40 years of age at the time of his death, Mahatma Gandhi wrote in The Young India, the death of Vidyarthi was one to be envied by all. In memory of the celebrated journalist, the government of India instituted the prestigious Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Award to recognize outstanding contribution in the field of Hindi journalism. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.